other thing that she didn't have to worry about. Now let's talk about the nanny that we had that was five days a week in-house sleeping with us five days a week. I never intended on including her in this video, but after she saw what, you know, Celine's mother had said, she insisted on helping me. I'm Janelle, Landon, and Celine's aunt, and also Celine's nanny. My role is to take care of Sol full on, and I did. I had her six, six to five days a week, at least 22 hours a day and night. And um, I changed her, I fed her, I bathed her, I took her out to play, I walked with her. That was my purpose of being there, for soul only. She's like, she was like having my own child. My experience with the relationship in the home was very negative. That's just another. Um, a lot of nagging, which was really hard because it was like literally from the time morning till night, um, just a constant nagging. He nagged, nagged him like literally all day until the time they'd go to bed. I would, I could hear her up there nagging him. If, if the closet wasn't clean or the trash wasn't taken out, it was just like, oh my God, it was like the whole world ended. A lot of darkness in that house, a lot of negativity, which was really during the night. Um, if she wasn't with me, then she, then she was always with her daddy. Living with her um, loves that little girl more than life. I mean, obviously, I, I, I can't deny that. She just loves that baby so much. But she wasn't really present in the home. Um, she was in there, she was at home all the time, but she never really uh, was present in, in Soul's life like she should have been as, as a mom. I still worked for Shyla after the breakup because um, the, the plan was for Shyla was going to get her own place. She was going to um, continue to keep me and then Landon was going to get his place close by and he was going to keep me. So I would still work for both of them. I got fired because I wouldn't sign the, in, the NDA. She sleep during the night. Said her lawyer said I had to sign it. I didn't feel comfortable signing the NDA because that meant I couldn't talk about anything. Like right now, everything was between me and Shyla. I wouldn't have had a problem with that, but it would have been a lie. You know, it just would have been a lie. And um, so I, I told them I wouldn't sign it. So they uh, said, okay, then you need to leave. I just want to say, you know, pray for Soul. We love her so much. Her family, you know, we, we don't get to see her uh, like like the way it should be. Soul's family on her dad's side, we don't, we don't get to see her. We have visiting rights. You, that affects soul. And all we want is the happiness. We just want Landon to be happy. We want Shyla to be happy. But for Soline, said her lawyer, I love her so much. We just want everything to be normal in her life. This is not normal, what's going on. And um, it, it's not fair. It's not fair to ever have a child not even two years old going through this and it's very heartbreaking it it literally breaks your heart along with that here's more proof that we did have a nanny since soul was two months old I also find it really, really disrespectful that she's acting like my aunt didn't play a crucial role in our lives and my daughter's life and helped out tremendously. Mind you, I even- I love her.